Good evening, friends. This is Dr. Hema again, and uh, here I'm going to talk to you about a case of uh, a clothed aorta, abdominal aorta, which is clothed completely, 99-100% um, at the level of the renal arteries. The lady is 64 years old and uh, diabetic, severe CAD, severe PAD, presented with uh, ACS, elevated enzymes, and ischemic legs at the same time both left and right left more than right of course here you see the uh, multipurpose catheter from the radial axis um, uh, with the um, uh, angiogram the case was started with this tortuous um, uh, subclavian for um, uh, coronary angiogram of course i have to do the um, uh, heart cath first and the uh, bypass um, uh, angiogram And here I moved to the abdominal aorta using the multipurpose catheter. And um, as you see, the renal artery is patent. The aorta is completely occluded infrarenal. Here is the axis from the left uh, femoral. And as you see, the wire stuck in the iliac. So sheath was advanced and the angiogram obtained and you see the um, iliac is completely occluded. So the next step, as always, if you see in my old cases, I use always a run through. I have better luck with this wire using 2015 and, uh, or 2020 balloon to steer the wire through the um, iliac artery. And then you leave the, um, the wire buckled at the distal aorta, like here, where the vessel was completely occluded. Next will be... That is 2.5 um, uh, balloon inflated, then angiogram. You still see um, uh, how bad the vessel in the iliac artery. Here I upgraded to 5 O shockwave lithotripsy in the iliac artery. Multiple shocks, which is again, this is the coronary um, uh, lithotripsy, not the peripheral one. Remember, we still have six French sheath here. Now here, after multiple inflation, you see we have nice flow. However, I'm gonna show you the um, pressure waveform is still low. Here, the pressure waveform is still low, even after opening the LEX, of course, because the aorta is completely occluded. Next step is fixing the um, uh, iliac artery using 70 millimeter um, stent. And here is the final, actually 60 millimeter stent. 60, and here is the final after giving the um, uh, nitroglycerin. Now, next step is to advance the catheter toward the aorta to see the occluded aorta distally. Here I advanced the run through over the um, coronary balloon and guide liner and steered the um, wire through the aorta, as you see here. Following, inflated that balloon and advanced the guide liner to see if we are in the true lumen and here is confirmation that we are in the true lumen. And now here you see the pressure waveform improved. Following, I did shock wave using the same um, uh, 5.0 lithotripsy. Again, this is six of French, so that's the maximum I can do for this um, uh, sheath. Multiple shocks and inflation obtained here. Here I advance the guide liner and the guide catheter, and then here is angiogram beyond the lesion. And you can tell where we're gonna place this stent right now. Here I'm gonna use the um, uh, Gore 11 millimeter by 59 millimeter balloon expandable stent.
which goes over the um, 035 wire. So here I have to upgrade the um, sheath to eight French sheath. We still in the distal or proximal beyond the lesion. So here I have to change the wire to long um, J wire, pull the sheath and do angiogram to make sure that can handle the uh, eight French sheath. And then upgrade the sheath to eight French. Here we have the eight French sheath and advance up to that segment. And then we have the stent placement now. And here the stent was expanded very well. Then I post dilated using a larger balloon. And here is the catheter, advanced with nice waveform, nice pressure, and nice results. More injections. And this tool, of course. All right, thank you very much. I hope you enjoy it.